everyone today we'll be going over some basics of NetSuite in Suite Analytics uh, basically Suite Analytics workbook and some data sets along with the advanced side of things where you could publish it to a dashboard via analytics portlet uh, to start off we are going to discuss these features of the workbook basically templates which are like predefined business use cases where you could reuse that data set to have your own metrics or data points and data sets where again these are reusable data points or a collection of data that you can use across different workbooks and again the unified data model inside NetSuite Suite Analytics allows you to have multiple joins custom fields and provides for um, a holistic picture of the entire NetSuite um, data sets and allows for ad hoc analysis. So you could do your pivots, your charts, trend lines, tables and export it to CSV or put it on your dashboard for a quick analysis or share it with your team members without having, the, uh, without having them create it from scratch. So finally we're going to publish it to portal and we're going to look into all of this in detail today. So let's get started right away. So I'm going into the analytics tab inside NetSuite and you see that you have workbooks and data sets here. Um, when you go into the workbooks page, you should see that there are certain template based workbooks already in the system. So these are like by default, um, predefined templates in the system available. So if you were to create your own uh, workbook and you can also favorite it so you can quickly access it here, just a tip for you guys. So for today's session, I'm just going to create a sample my transactions workbook. And once we create it, I'm going to add in a few fields in the data set. So this is how your Suite Analytics workbook is going to look like. So it has my transactions. You have, these are some of the fields that I've pulled in from my data set. And I've created, um, this is the, the view currently or the rows available based on my criteria. So the first things first, so this is where you would see your workbook name. And if you wanted to change it, click on the hover icon here and you can change it. My transactions, I'm just going to put in my name in and this may be a test and show you guys, I can change it, add in a description as well here. Test workbook and click on apply by and it gets updated. So thing to keep in mind here is these are the options so anytime you make a change here you would have to refresh it to make it show up so so this is the look and feel of the workbook UI so you have your name of the template or the workbook here you have your fields on the left hand side where you can drag and drop so and on the top right you have the ability to share it with your team members or a role or based on the employees or shared with all right you can share it with every one of them and then you can save as right so since it's a template it allows you to save as as a custom uh, workbook so to start off let's go into the data set and data set so this is, brings up a new window basically inside the current existing browser and shows you what fields are being pulled on the left hand side which entity or record type it's pulling from so Currently, it's pulling from transactions. So you see how it has transaction lines. The dependent fields upon are also available here. If you wanted to see exactly the name of the field and the join type, it gives you the exact details for the same. So I feel like this is pretty useful, not just for uh, Suite Analytics workbook, but also if you were to write Suite QL and if you wanted to bring data outside of NetSuite, Suite Analytics workbook provides you the key names um, for doing the joins in an easier way, I would say. So to start off our exercise, I'm just going to put in like created by me and I'm just going to remove this. I'm just going to reset this. Um, no value. Actually, let me just have, rem let, let me just add all apply. So you can either remove this filter altogether or like it just for the sake of showing it. The criteria is over here. And and I've put in the date from the previous year. So this is my current uh, data set. And I can add in fields as needed too. So for example, I wanted to bring in the accounting date. 
right? If there are values here, it's, it's going to show up. Since there are none, I'm just going to remove this. And maybe we can add in like amount after discount. So certain fields that we can definitely bring in and use them as needed inside our um, workbook. So once you're done making your changes, adding the new fields you wanted to add, I would say go ahead and click on apply to workbook. So now you should see in your workbook that uh, all of the new rows are in the system and it's currently unsaved. So you can save changes as and you can save your data set with the name you have because by default it's going to um, show up on your uh, predefined templates data set. So I would say give it a custom name so you can reuse it. So now that you have your uh, new data, so I would say you can so uh, you can create your own pivots like your rows columns and measures so for example if we were to put this here and that's what reminds you that when you add a new field you need to click on refresh to make it show up there you go so based on your entity, you want to see the count and the amount and for each transaction and the currency. So this is uh, a quick view that you could do this. Also, I, I'm just going to create a new tab and then there are three different options by default. So table, pivot and chart. So now that you guys have seen a pivot, so I'm just going to create a quick turn graph based on the maybe the posting period. Actually, let me just make it and based on an entity series and then just click on refresh here. There you go. It's a cool column chart that you can look up based on the amount of money based on the series here. Um, so these are some of the quick ways you can build out your own metrics or trends inside uh, NetSuite. So once I have this chart, I can definitely rename this uh, transactions by customer. And I'm going to save this as my workbook and click on save. So now like to just reiterate what we've learned so far as we have used an existing template, updated the data set with the fields we wanted, added a new uh, pivot table or customize an existing one from the template and then created a new uh, column chart based on the visuals um, and the fields that you have in the system. You can also create calculated measures. So that's a that's that's really possible here. You can create custom, like you can see, you can do profit metrics. Um, you can do ratios that uh, your business uses and add it to your data set. So we're going to go in that in uh, later sessions in, in depth, but for today's session, I wanted to show you guys how to save this. And now I just want to go into my home dashboard and add it to my dashboard as a portal. So the way to do that would be go back to your home dashboard, click on personalize and be sure to select the analytics portlet on your system uh, on your screen so here you would go into three dots at the end click on setup and voila you see your workbook and if i wanted to bring in by transactions by customer you can choose how you want it to be looking like short medium or tall i'm gonna just put in medium and click on save So it takes a minute, but here we go. So we have our transactions by customer on the home dashboard from the Sweet Analytics workbook. Hope this is helpful for you guys and you can quickly publish this and publish this dashboard to your end users. This is the NetSuite ERP guide, which uh, has like, what is ERP in NetSuite, what career options you have, how and why it is the best uh, remote platform there is where you could excel in a remote career working from anywhere in the world making six plus figure salaries hope this was helpful thank you guys